particles would be coming out from the center of the collision and bending in the magnetic field. So this is the collision here. Yeah. The particles come out. Yeah. This is a magnet, the strongest superconducting magnet in the world, and it's the biggest magnet in the world. It's a, you know you can fit, a, you can have a party in it. It's enormous. This is a 100-ton uh, iron door on a single hinge. Our field is a little different than astronomy, for example. In astronomy, there are people that build the instruments and then there are people that use them. We do both. So how much people were involved in this detector depends a little bit on their age. You know, the first designs were 20 years ago. There were many years there where we didn't think much about the physics at all. In CMS, there's 180 institutions. Each institution has a specialty beyond just the physics that they want to do. There's none of us, no single one of us not even one institution that understands everything here. If you're trying to put together a detector that's the size of an apartment building that's built to the precision that's off the diameter of a human hair or better, that has a million, 100 million channels of electronics that have to be synchronized to a billionth of a second, we each have to bring our piece and they all have to work. So if any of them fail, there's no experiment. This is a shield around the beam. Okay, So the beam line is actually fairly small. The pipe is about that big. And it's in the middle of that. On the other side, you have exactly the same thing. The accelerator is actually two beam pipes side by side. So the beams come in like this, they cross like this, and they switch and go back out and go around the ring again. The cables come off of the detector and often come into these racks. You can see cables coming in. There's a, a ridiculously large number of kilometers of cables. I don't remember the number, it's just astronomical. Laying out the cables took years. To be honest, I think we're all a little surprised at how well it works, because it's not the thousandth time we've built one of these. Each one is the first time. Many of the technologies we used did not exist when we started the project. If you take a bunch of motivated scientists and let them go after what they're interested in, they will find any way over obstacles. And in the process, develop lots of things of interest, like the World Wide Web, like superconducting wire. This is one of the things I like about our field, is that we will place these challenges in front of ourselves, and we find any way we can to get over them.